Hey, what's up guys, it's your boy Samir and I'm back. After a waiting of 10 long months, the new iteration of MIUI, which is dubbed as MIUI 8, is now available for public testing and the stable version is arriving anytime soon. So in this video, I'm gonna do a full review of MIUI 8, in which I will talk about all the newly added features and how is the performance. Plus, I will also try to explain what are the major changes from MIUI 7 to MIUI 8. So without any further ado, let's get started. Let's start with the design, in which MIUI team has done some serious refinements. This version has a colorful base with a minimalistic design which really looks great and feels simple. If we take a look over the new notification shade, which approaches an entirely new design from the previous one. At the top, you will get all the toggles, below which there is a brightness controller. And if you look closely, this design seems to be highly inspired by Samsung's Touch Wiz. The recent app tray is also being redesigned. Now you will get a music player option above the recent app, which I think is not that useful. At the corner, there is an option by which you can change the view of recent apps. The volume option is also redesigned. Now you can separately adjust the volume for media, notification and alarm, which could be really useful. So overall there is a big difference from MIUI 7 to MIUI 8. The user experience has been refined in this new version and you will definitely going to like this. Now let's see what are the major changes in the inbuilt apps. First, Camera. The UI of Camera app has been completely changed, but it has all the features for which MIUI Camera is famous. You can adjust the exposure by swiping up and down, and you also get bunch of live filters which includes some new one also. The camera and video quality is as usual amazing. Second, New Gallery App Since MIUI 6, there was no major change in the Gallery app. But in MIUI 8, Gallery app has been redesigned and added some new photo editing options like doodles and new filters, which can make your photo look great. Third, Phone app. The phone app also get new update and now it look more clean and minimal and the animations of picking up and rejecting call is quite awesome. Fourth, File manager. You will find all the necessary categories in the file manager which makes file navigation a lot more easier and now you can directly upload your file to me drive from file manager. You can also hide your folders and file by just swiping down to open the hidden folder option. At the bottom you will find the me drop option which makes file sharing more convenient with Xiaomi devices. Fifth, New Scanner the scanner app is available in MIUI since a while, but now it has been improved even further. That you can easily solve your maths problem or you can easily put the visiting card details to your contact by just scanning it. Sixth, some redesigned apps. Apps like calculator, recorder and notes also get some new design and features. Like, now you can use your calculator for conversion of currency, temperature, area, volume, etc. You can also change the theme of your notes to make them look more prominent. Now let's talk about what are the newly added features in MIUI 8, which makes it better from the previous versions. First, Touch Assistant. It seems like a smart move from Xiaomi that they had added a Touch Assistant, which is really helpful in multitasking. You can easily set which app or setting you want for your assistant. By default, you can use Touch Assistant to go back, lock screen, capture screenshot, open recent app tray, etc. Second, cloned apps. This is actually one of my favorite feature of MIUI 8. And it's something new. By using this feature, you can sign in into two different accounts of WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Just go to setting and select app for which you want to sign in into another account. That's it. Now in the home menu, you will find Two app icon for that. Third, second space. It's not new for Android users because this feature is present in stock Android since Android Lollipop. But for MIUI users, it's new. By using second space, you can create two users for your Xiaomi device. And you can also choose 
which file or content you want to share with the other user. Isn't it great? Fourth, App Lock. In MIUI 8, Xiaomi had added a separate App Lock option, which is quite powerful and easy to set up. By using this, you can protect your personal data. Fifth, Theme and Wallpaper. The basic design of Theme app has been changed to a better and cleaner look. Now there are thousands of themes and wallpapers from which you can choose and you can also customize each and every aspect of your theme. Previously, this feature was removed from UI 7. Sixth, Beta Features. At last, you can find a Beta Feature option in the setting menu. There you will find an option called App Invisible by which you can hide your app and there are a couple of other features also but all of them are right now in beta stage. Finally, let's talk about the performance of MIUI 8. I'm testing this global version of MIUI 8 since one week and friends, I'm really impressed with the performance of this ROM. This is the best version of MIUI till date. Some features like multi-window and doze mode is still missing, but maybe they will add it in the final stable version. If we talk about the battery performance, there is a new feature which will close all the background battery consuming apps and cool down the battery by just one click. And I am getting about 5.5 hours off screen on time with moderate usage which is good enough for me. Moving forward to the sound quality which is as usual great. The Mi Sound Enhancer really improves the mid and depth of your music and the bass is also perfect. Personally, I am a music lover and I really love the way it sounds. So guys, that's all for today. If you like this video and find it useful, then do hit the like, share and subscribe button for more future updates. See you guys in my next video.